guys welcome back to my channel or if you've never seen me before then hi welcome so i can't even like talk right now i'm so nervous as you probably already saw by the title today is gonna be a bit of a different video it's not bookish related but i still wanted to document it and share it with you guys because it is gonna be a very big moment in my life a very important one one that i'll remember forever that it'll be on me forever today i'm gonna get my first tattoo that sounds unreal to me like even as i'm saying it i think i haven't processed it yet i don't think i will until it's on me like literally i'm just like going through like all the steps just like numbly like i'm not even thinking about it because i know if i do think about it a lot too much then i'll overthink it i'll go into overdrive and just i'll maybe cancel the appointment i don't know i could do something crazy <laughs> and not do it at all if i stop to think about it too much so I'm not. I'm just gonna do it and then after I'll have time to process it. It is definitely scary. First of all, just because like now it's actually hitting that, you know, this is a permanent thing. It'll be on my body forever. And I've thought about it a lot, like the design and what I want to do and why I want to do it. I'm someone who like, I'm a planner, okay? I plan things. I'm someone who always thinks about doing things before I actually do them. I've put a lot of thought into this, but still, it's a big commitment. And so that's scary. But also, mostly, I'm just scared because of the pain. <laughs> what I've just heard are honestly mixed things. Like people say it doesn't hurt at all. Some say it hurts a lot. I'm just like really scared but I'm kind of just like imagining the worst possible pain ever. I think that'll be better because like I don't think it's what I'm imagining in my head and so when I actually feel the pain because I know there's gonna be pain okay especially me because I'm a low tolerance pain girly so I know there's gonna be pain but I'm imagining the worst possible pain ever so maybe when I actually feel the pain I'll be like oh it's not what I imagine you know it's not that bad I'm just thinking the worst that's kind of the thing that I'm like most scared about especially because of the placement Listen, I don't know if any of you who have a tattoo like also can relate to this, but I feel like apart from like the design and what I want to do, I feel like the hardest thing about this has been like where I get it because I've been having a really hard time thinking about like the placement and where do I want to get it. But I think I've decided on my wrist, which I've heard like everyone who has gotten a tattoo on their wrist say like it's the worst place ever to get like a tattoo even more so your first tattoo but again i'm just gonna like not think about it plus like it's not really gonna be on my wrist because like people say like because there's like bones here and like veins that's why it hurts a lot but it's more gonna be like right here like down oh gosh i'm so scared i was thinking here but like hello birds outside won't let me talk don't you know I'm filming? Anyway, so yeah, I think right here. I don't think it'll look like as nice as getting it on here. I think here's just like dainty and like just delicate. So I want to get a small one, really, really small one. I mean, not that small. Also, it's going to be bookish related. I'm not going to tell you exactly the design because I want that to be a surprise. I have a lot of interest. You know, I'm a fangirl, so there's a lot of things that I love, but... I wanted my first tattoo to be bookish related because I feel like out of all the things that I love, books are a very important part of my life. I create content about books and just like I read books almost every day. Well, really every day. Let's be real here. And they've always been so special to me since I was little, you know. What I'm trying to say is it was hard picking what, but I think bookish related is the right decision. It feels right. I'm like so anxious. I'm probably gonna have a mental breakdown before we get to the place or on our way. But it's okay. It's okay. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. I'm gonna go with my mom and my uncle. They're gonna be there with me. That's it. Oh my god. I don't know what else to say. Guess I'll see you over there. I'm not like as anxious I think as I'm gonna be when I'm like right there. Okay, I'm gonna show you my outfit. This is my outfit, brown top, but like at the back, pretty, right? These black pants, which like I've used so much because I love them. And then my satellite stompers. So yeah, that's it. I'm nervous. I think I'm gonna be more excited once I get it and I've processed it and I'm like, this is so cool. It's small, so it's not gonna take a lot of time. So like the pain that I feel, it's only gonna be for that time. Short period of time and then it's over. And I've got this beautiful tattoo on me forever.
guys so i thought i'd explain basically here we were just working out the design while he was doing the designing i was just telling him my ideas and kind of just what i wanted to do and as you can see i was a nervous wreck because like look at my hands i was trying not to show it but yeah i was dying screaming inside and then after he had done the design, he like cut it out, printed it, whatever. And then he kind of just showed it to me so like we could figure out where I was going to get the tattoo. Like I said, the hardest thing about this has been like the placement. So we were just kind of like testing it out, seeing how it would look. A dream like I'm not here and here I am facetiming my aunt because she also has a tattoo and I needed extra emotional support apart from the people that were already there with me because like I said I was so anxious so nervous and like I was about to get it this was the moment so i'm back i kind of just wanted to end the video here i would do like like film another clip like me waiting like until it heals but honestly i'm a bit impatient i kind of just wanted to edit this video get it out as soon as possible because i'm excited to share it with you guys honestly i think it'll look the same just without the patch that he put on me he said i would keep it on well i had to keep it on for like five days and then do like my routine just like completely normally because like that does protect it the only thing is like i can't go out into the sun like or to the beach or anything just until it heals and then i like take it off after those five days and then continue to take care of it like just you know moisturize it you know with anything i do on myself like with my piercings i'm very like careful like that i'm like okay like do everything how people tell me to do it like you know the steps the healing process like with my piercings were very hard honestly i think piercings are hard to heal but yeah i would take care of them like very rigorously i'm honestly not worried about like the healing process i do have a bit of blood around here but, you know that's normal and then like a line from the stencil that he did but again oh i don't know what this is that'll go away obviously after i take off the patch it's also a bit red i don't think it's um what's the word mine going blank right now oh swollen swollen yeah uh, or inflamed but i think swollen was the word that i was looking for so yeah i don't think it's swollen so that's a good thing but it is a little bit red but again totally normal but okay in terms of like pain which was the thing that i was most worried about and if you're someone that doesn't like this is your first time watching me and you clicked on this video because you're getting your first tattoo tomorrow or like next week or just like in the future or you're thinking of it because I know like last night I binged a bunch of like getting my first tattoo vlogs. If you're someone that's watching this because of that, I think most people getting their first tattoos are worried about the pain mostly. I mean, 
I was. I told you that I would imagine like the worst pain possible and let me tell you, do that too because it helped a lot. I imagine just like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Someone was taking like a knife and like scraping it on my skin and then that plus like heat, it would feel like fire. I don't know. When he actually did it and when he started, which was, you know, like I think also I was like, I'm gonna ask him first to do it without the ink just so I could feel the pain but I think the fact that he I forgot to ask him actually but I think anyways it was better to just like go ahead and do it help just to like get it over with you know what I mean anyways but when he started I was like oh my gosh is this it like I'm being for real right now like I I'm not like being like uh it doesn't hurt at all no it does hurt it's not a pleasant feel you know it's not pleasant at all but if you're like me and imagine the worst possible guys i was so shocked again it hurt but like not what i imagined in my mind so he didn't take a lot of time it was like maybe less than 10 minutes i mean it felt like one minute to me but i know it was more than that so it was really fast when he started i kind of got used to the pain and again it didn't hurt a lot if it would have been a bigger tattoo and would have taken longer towards the end when he was about to finish it i honestly like i was holding my mom's hand but i let go of it because i was like i'm fine i like kind of like laid back because i was like really tense and i was like shaking also i was scared that i would have moved my arm while he was doing it and then ruined the tattoo but no i think it's just mentally like i think even though like you're really scared and shaking like i was i think still like your body automatically it'll like not move it because like mentally you're like okay no i can't move my arm or like wherever you're doing it because like then it'll get ruined so you know even though you think like me i was like oh my gosh what if i move it because i'm shaking but again i think my body automatically was like still it was still and even more so when i was like oh this doesn't hurt as much as i thought it would i had no problem keeping it still that's another thing you're worried about but yeah so towards the end i laid back and then like no kidding i I could have like i think i closed my eyes but i could have like slept you know like i i don't know it wasn't how i imagined and i'm like still really shocked about that because I, I was like i thought it would hurt way more but it didn't i think it also has to do with the placement because oh okay when i got there like we were talking about the designs and we took a bit of time because at first i wanted a way smaller tattoo but he explained to me like over time that would just like i don't know the lines would like mesh with one another and it'll just like look bad if it's like that small to be honest like i almost wanted to cry because i was like i want this so much and then like it's not what i imagined or what i wanted but honestly at first i was gonna get all my wrists and so when he kind of did you can see the pen here he kind of did like a test drawing whatever and i was like that is too big like not what i wanted at all in the wrist area since it is way smaller than right here it looked bigger like when i saw it but honestly after he said you could do it right here and now that it's done it's the same size as i would have done it in the wrist but in the wrist it looks bigger right here it looks perfect it turned out bigger than i wanted but honestly it's the perfect size everything turned out perfect so i think you should have like if you're like me that likes to plan everything or even if you don't i think you should still have a design in mind i mean you can go ahead and do a tattoo like spontaneously and do whatever you want you know go ahead <laughs> like who am I to stop you? But I'm just saying, like, I think it's better if you do have a design in mind. Just, like, some idea of what you want to do. But keep an open mind. Because, you know, those tattoo artists, like, they know best. And so just keep an open mind. So at first it was hard. Because I was, like, I was set on something. But honestly, we worked it out. And it turned out perfectly. Just what I wanted. Because, like, I didn't want too many pages either. It's very minimalistic. It's simple. The girlies were right. Okay, it's kind of addicting. Like, I already want to get another one. It'll be the same. Like, simple. Just fine lines. Because that's me i feel like that's my style at first i was like here it'll just like not look like as good as on the wrist or like here i don't know but honestly where he did it turned out perfectly because like i love it hold on let me angle the camera down okay so if i'm sitting you can still see it so it's like it's hidden but not so hidden because like if i quickly turn my arm around you can see it it's like right there also what i was talking about hold on let me angle it back up again the placement does matter because i think towards the wrist could hurt more because like veins and bones like i said but honestly i think it'll be just like the same pain as i felt but just a little bit more so i think i could handle it but i think this placement was like perfect for my first tattoo and also like the needle was very fine so i think that helped also like the needle being fine like if it's like more thick lines i think it does hurt a little bit more but honestly i think again imagine the worst possible and that'll help i would also say like just get what you want don't worry about the pain because again that'll be over in like 10 to 30 minutes i mean if it's a more bigger tattoo you'll 
spend like more time there whatever time it takes to get the tattoo it won't be like you know forever and that's it that's it so just get what you want don't worry about the pain because again the pain is temporary but the tattoo is forever you know what i mean and again to kind of describe the pain what almost everyone said was that it felt kind of like a cat scratch or just like someone taking like you know kind of like a close pin but i honestly didn't feel like that to me it just i don't know how to describe it it felt like a vibration but like with a bit of pain honestly it did feel like pinching like an annoying pinching just felt like a constant pinching on a scale of one to ten four i thought like before i got my tattoo i was like when i film this part of the video i'm gonna say like 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 but no glad about that honestly i'm just like so 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 happy with everything how it turned out again perfectly and just happy honestly with the pain like i'm just like so relieved i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching if you're getting your first tattoo soon or you're thinking about it i hope this helped you in any way i hope this motivated you encouraged you because honestly i would say do it okay just do it trust me think about it a lot first but like you won't regret it and you know you only live once not being cheesy or anything but I honestly encourage and motivate anyone who's thinking of getting one. Oh, also the tattoo artist. I recommend it if you live in Puerto Rico. Get it with him. Like, he was honestly, like, so cool. Again, at first, you know, I was, like, kind of stuck. But honestly, you know, he knows best. So he was just, like, guiding me through it and advising me on, again, what is best for like my tattoo he motivated me through it he was like you're gonna be okay just deep breathe please great experience just really recommend him if you're in this area i think that's it i was about to end the video but then i kept on talking again <laughs> hope you enjoyed watching thank you so much for watching if you stuck to the end i love you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye